Greetings, ladies and gentlemen players. Welcome to what would normally be another wonderful day for murder. But I just got done with my simuls and I decided rather than doing that, I am going to give you this lovely Legend 88 game that I have recorded from July of last year. And it actually fits. There is a little bit of murdering. There may be, there may not be. Who knows? You'll have to wait and see and watch it to find out. Now, for those of you who do not know, I, I kind of make fun of you in the video uh, if you don't know. Sorry about that. Those of you who don't know, Legend 8 essentially is a professional from about years back, like a long time ago at this point. I don't even know how many, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, somewhere around there. Played on Tygem back when you pretty much had to start at like five Don and then rank up to nine Don even like as, uh, as pros. So... Started there, got there, didn't drop a game, as like any good pro won't, obviously. But where a lot of pros tend to play like really, really super blitz settings uh, back in the day with Trick Giuseppe to really screw up the amateurs, get the game over with ASAP. Good old Legend 88 here, didn't do that. Played nice, solid, basic moves, which in my opinion turned into some of the best uh, teaching material that I have ever seen. And yeah, this is a game from that set. He is black. The, the UI is wrong for a couple of minutes. Sorry about that, too. Legend is black, playing a 7 Don Tai Gym. And uh, yeah, it's just a really good game. I hope you enjoy it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. All right, so welcome back, everyone. We are still on my real board on the floor. And we're going over a Legend 88 game versus another Tai Jum 7 Don. If you don't know who Legend 88 is at this point, eh, that's too bad. That, that, that's rough. That's really rough, man. Sorry to hear it. But we are going to be looking over at his game this time. He gets to go uh, against a Tai Jum 7 Don who, believe it, or not, probably not, but you might believe it, Opens up 4-4-3-4 four, four, four again, as we saw last game. However, whereas the other player approached and went into Kobayashi, this one is going to play low Chinese. Dun, 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 dun. Now, to give you an idea of how old this game is, we're about to see a move that we wouldn't really expect to see pros play anymore. For a while, though, it was like the only move pro... Well, not the only move, but it was one of the most common moves pros played. It was... Um, yeah, it was very common for a very long time. Then, after this move, we saw approaches on the inside for a while, then some approaches on the outside as well, and then we haven't seen this in a very, very long time. This one's fun. This one's fun. Um, the AI will scream at you if you play it, but this one's fun. The idea behind this move is quite simple. We don't want to play here because it is literally 2v1. That means we're outnumbered, so our opponent can start beginning to surround us, develop the bottom. We can't get a really brilliant base here, so we're going to get kicked around a little bit. It's just going to be a little uncomfortable. You know, little little uncomfortable. Of course, certain things nowadays will say, well, just attach to the 3-4 four forehead. But you are still outnumbered here. This should still go better for black than white. It's not an even result. If it was an even result, this stone wouldn't make any sense. So we play here, and part of the reason why we're playing here, though we could also play down, hello, hello. We could also play here, though note if you play low, you can get attached to. And if you play low here, you get shoulder hit. So those are different variations. But yeah. We play two space high, so we can't get hit low. And this encourages our opponents 
to play an enclosure, and then we can grab an extension. Forcing your opponent out of the Chinese into an enclosure with an extension is a lot more uh, basic because handling an enclosure with an extension is something that you can like look up in Go books, right? They, they've taught how to deal with this forever and ever and ever, right? We know that we've got Aji in here. We know there's some Aji in here. There's even some Aji in here. There's some potential into this, into the outside attachment. Like, you got, you got some things you can do, you know? You got some things you can do. Whereas, if we were just, like, approach this all just hanging out all naked, we might get punched around for a while, and it, it, it might not be uh, that good of a result. So, okay, we got this one. Uh, whoops, sorry. Yoink and yoink. There we go. Black. Unfortunately, splits also used to be fairly common uh, back in the day. Back in the day, it used to be super, super common. We don't really do it anymore, though. Because it's easy to get an extent, uh, to an enclosure. And then if you get Sente, you get an extension from that enclosure, which is a little bit awkward. Now you might be saying, well, that's okay. I'm going to 3-3 three, three instead. Well, yeah, you can, but then they're going to block, get Sente and play here. And that's still pretty friggin' awkward. Even if you want to play, even if you want to play the, uh, like the new stuff, you can't really... I, I really would heavily advise not doing it against this. Question. Uh, at night games are over now. There are two I have not gone over. Whether or not I do, I do not know. But I did want to jump up to 7 Don. Because some of these games are really, really cool. Nice two space extension. Now, you might look at this and be like, this position sucks for black. Look at all the territory. Again, fourth line, not territory. We can go under here as potential reduction. We can go here, potential reduction, because we can still go in either direction or come out. So, not quite territory there yet. So if you're uncomfortable with this because you don't like the amount of points that white is making, you are th you're, the thought process in your head is going incorrectly. Because that is not territory. For now, black has sente. So he plays here, he has an enclosure. And with the enclosure, he has his extension. So this is all working out very, very nicely. White's like, nope, I'm going to do something about that. And jumps on in. Oh. Damn it. Right, so the Seven Don decides to invade now. Because he can't let Black keep all that. Obviously, everybody knows that. Everybody knows that. Black protects. White comes up. I think. He doesn't go honey on the inside, does he? Doesn't. Okay, good. And black connects. For a slap happy. A little bit of a base. Nice and reasonable. Black counters. And says, you invade me, I invade you. Now, it is tempting to start attacking here, but if you attack here and you lose Sente and White gets a big move, you're going to feel silly. So that, that's the danger here. So before trying to attack a group, even if you suspect it of being weak, 
Black takes a big point first. And block. And extend. Getting himself a base. Now, unfortunately, white does overstep with his next move. Black is in the pay of Big Sente. He is, yes. He likes that Big Sente. Now, what's fun about this board position for Black, there are two things you could do. Like, if you had Sente, you can follow up an attack from here and try and put pressure on this group. But, take note, you can also play here, which is probably going to force connections here, after the connect. So you can see this area is threatening to grow. So taking note of that, the potential expand off of here we have white go into the small area when his eye should really be on how to reduce the top. So this is a huge, huge mistake that I would say even players today would make because you'll note also he's doing this because he knows he can live in the corner. So he's all about that corner, corner, corner. And sure enough, yes, he will live in the corner. That is completely and utterly true. It's the Hane here. Yeah, that's Sente. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. The connection is Sente because of the cut. So he's golden on that one, too. All of this makes sense. All, oops, white first. All of this makes sense. Black even plays the Atari. White connects because he knows he's fine. But there are multiple things that just happened here. One, yes. Life in the corner. That's a grand. 10 out of 10. Way to go. This group still needs uh, a little bit of help. Because this got strengthened. And by virtue of these moves, this is undercut all over the place. I mean, black can go over to here, for example, if he really wanted to. Black could seriously invade this and come out if he wants to. Because of all that. So what is white going to do now? Taking big old pointy pointies. Or trying to. Or trying to. I would say again, this is too small. His eye should be on the open part of the board. We've done the corner bit. We're getting the sides underway, but there's still a very large side here. And all of this center stuff is still up for grabs. So reinforcing this corner is just a very, very greedy move. That said, I like the principle behind it. He invaded, and rather going from invasion to invasion, he went invasion to worrying about his points. That's the right idea. It really is. Like, you can invade and then help yourself somewhere. But, I mean, I would rather he have played somewhere in here. Maybe a shoulder hit. This is just uh, not a good move. But he didn't play it. And Black's next move. Everyone knows it, right? What's Black's next move? Anyone know? Really hard to guess. Where Black can play next. 
Uh, thank you, C.L. Smith, because I like trying to trick people. No, I've actually said the, the move already on the board. We, we've already gone over it. Congratulations to the person who remembered C Q7. Chilling cat, way to go. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Because this is threatening to just blow up the right side like a bomb. If you get cut here, just leave the game. Leave the game. Just leave out. Scoot, 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 scoot. So we need to defend this area. Like I mentioned. Like a foo. Which means we threaten to cut. Because if you cut through here, liberty shortage is out the wazoo. So we are going to connect. And now you're surrounded. White says, that is fine, I can live. And black's like, <laughs> mm. something in my throat, sorry. You were saying you're going to do what now? And cuts. But unfortunately, got ourselves a dead stone here. So got that for free. White now has to still look for eyes. This is why you don't want to be surrounded. Go, as we all know, is called the surrounding game. And that usually is a hint to not let that happen to you. The minute you're surrounded, you're a life and death problem. Problem with that is a life and death problem. It's not always a life problem. Sometimes that's not how that goes. So White has to throw out all the trick. He also can't live locally. Just so we're all clear. I hope we all know. If White lives locally, his next move will be to resign. Does everyone understand why? Do we all get why? If White actually lives locally with this group, he loses the game. Why is that? Why is that? CQ, yeah. Yeah, Mega Wall. And it would be Gote. Yep. Good job, CQ and Centaro. Like, we can picture... Attempt to live. We can picture... Attempt to live. There. It's alive, right? Now what? Now what? How much is uh, this territory I can fit my hand in worth? Usually if you can fit your body parts, mm, I'm rewarding that. Nope, don't say that either. Usually if you can fit your hand in uh, the territory you're making, it's too much. That, that's usually a hint. That's usually a hint. Like, right now, White would be forced to secure every last point on here. And even if you did, Black's just going to keep growing. Even if you secured it, Black's just going to keep growing. It's not going to be good. So, I will give full credit for White coming out right now. And some people may have been like, well, I think the only reason why White loses this game is because he, he didn't just try to live locally and he tried to come out. Like, no. Sorry. That is how you lose. You're going to lose during that branch. So the only hope you have right now is to get some magic done. So yeah, you might look at this and be like, dude, you're just helping black on the outside. And to some extent, that's true. You are. 
to some extent, yeah. You're doing that. Uh Uh-huh. But you don't have a choice. If you don't resist, you're screwed. You've got to try to get something done. Now, unfortunately, the mistake occurred before that. The mistake was living here at way the wrong time. And then following up the way wrong living at the way wrong time with way not supposed to be defending your corner when you've got the side and the center stuff still to worry about. We go corner, side, center, right? And he's forgetting about a side in the center and just trying to go all in on just like that little corner. Tari. Makes more sense. Uh, So we do that. Sure enough, white's coming out though. I mean, that's cool. You know, he, he's getting out. He didn't get fully surrounded. That's that's good. And I'll, I'll even go further and say you can see him now because he's out. He's developing the bottom. You know, he's Thanks developing the bottom. Content learning a ton. Thanks for the great support there, Kibik. Much appreciated, good sir. Welcome back. Uh, Three months. Uh, so yeah, black extends. Mind the gap. Unfortunately, Gote. And that's a mic drop moment right there. That right there is a mic drop. It's not here. It's not here. It's not even an attempt to enclose. It's just like, I'm just going to play here. Now, yes, that gives you a pokey point right here. You've got a free move to start your invasion. I don't even care. So, all right. It's time to get some magic done. Time to get some magic done. Hana is pretty strong. Not uh, worrying right now. Remember, the tarried stone, so the cut point loses a lot of value. Instead of a wall across the whole board, black only has a wall across half the board. I know. And in Go, you gotta you gotta settle for uh, you know those little disappointments. You have to settle for those little disappointments, you know? Alright, so white's gonna now Atari. Gotta get some magic happening. Atari into an Atari. As we can see here. Okay, okay, okay. Black takes. And then cuts with his own stone, preferably. Forcing black take. Now there's two cutting points here. Connects. So he's he's getting in, you know? He's uh, getting in a little bit. Good for him. Good for him. And instead of the entire top of the board, he has to make do with a little bit less, you know? A little bit less. It's really good that black was able that uh, white was able to do as much as he did. You know? He had the right idea. He knew we couldn't just live locally, otherwise it's game over. So, sure. Sure, he, he poked. 
He poked and prodded and kind of wiggled on in. Not enough, though. Not enough. Put pressure on the two stones. Puts pressure on, well, not, not, not out of harm's way, is it? You can see white trying to secure. This move is very, very aggressive. But what it's doing is creating complication here for a couple of reasons. One, there's an open area still. And two, this group is not living locally, and that's a large knight. So depending on how this goes, maybe we get one done or the other, or we can help the left. So there's a lot of reasons here for black to just uh, start some stuff. White responds nice and strong. Brace little horsey. And immediately we realize we're in trouble. Because if we drop down, we're cut off. So potential death here. Potential, potential. Push, push, push. And block. So rather than try to do, whoops, rather than try to play here, knowing it doesn't work, tries to play something else that might. And black plays Hane, and we go into a nice little bamboo joint like so. And it looks like that one's going to hold up to scrutiny. Most people, I would imagine, would just connect here and leave it alone. Connect here let white connect back up and be absolutely okay. Black, um... <clears throat> Black has a different idea. Now, you might say, dude, you said this is basics. How is this basic? Right? How is it basic? Glad you asked. Glad you asked. Right now, it's basic because there's a fundamental principle at work right now. And that principle is Mii. Black can connect here. Or black can still connect through here. So since he has two ways to connect, there's no reason, technically... to uh, connect, uh, give up the stone. Cuts off. Black saves the one stone. And at this point, you might be saying, okay, I was with you when you said there was me I. But she can't connect up anymore. And it's White's turn. So how is this simple? I'm glad you asked. You're asking a lot of questions. Very good ones, too. I appreciate them. They're really good. I like the questions. The reason now is because he can either connect up Or he can make his opponent cry manly tears. So, he's, he's still fine. So we're going to see a lot of complicated, what seems like complicated crap right now. And extend. And extend. You can see the dangers now. We can't keep doing this and allow this with this stuff on the field. 
So you have to defend. Like so. Okay. Okay. And again, it's the same thing. Uh, for those of you who cannot see it because I haven't gone over it, what is your answer to this move? Is your answer this? And what's your answer to this move? Is it to connect to make sure you keep the two stones? Then how about here? Are you going to play this one? One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Looks like you're good. But, damn it. That's when this comes back to life. There's problems. Big problems, right? Big problems. How do you hold all that? It's hard to, you know? Hard to hold, hard to hold, hard to hold. So, zoop, 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 zoop. Zoop, uh, zoop, and zoop, and zoop. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, yeah, the diagonal needs to be there. And this one does not. There we go. Got it. All right, is that all of it? Yes. Okay, good. So? Hane. Trying to capture two stones? No, you do not, sir. Dangerous, because remember the sequence we just saw? The It was super, super important that this thing had the outside liberties. So this exchange here is making this move even more severe. So let's keep that in mind. That makes this exchange here a little bit of a bad one. Connected. Now we're just going to jump out nice and calmly. White tries to head him off. Now we see this still working because... Because, 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 because... Of all the wonderful things he does... That's why we went over that a minute ago. It was super important that that liberty was there. Now if he connects, there's the drop down. And if you play there, you're dead. You're dead, you're dead, you're dead. It was super important, so I went over that. That's why we went over that. That liberty on the outside that he literally just got rid of was kind of a big deal. Kind of a big deal. So, that's dead. White follows up on the middle. And again, you would think. You would think. You would just be like, okay, I'm going to play here now and take the top. Uh, you would think. You would think. Let's assume for a minute, though, that's not what's played. Let's assume for a second that you are an aggressive player. You're stupidly aggressive. You're too aggressive. Where do you think Black would play next? Where do you think Black would play next? Assuming you're the type of player who is stupidly aggressive. Let's see how aggressive you guys are. L18? Nope. That's pretty passive. I don't know where you mean by cut. There's lots of them. J11. Yeah, J11 Atari. Uh-huh. Not gonna leave well enough alone. White tries to counter it. Black still extends. Mm. 
Y connects. Black extends. And now white says, I got you, that's what I want, yeah. And black's like, no, you don't. And white's like, yes, I did. Um, black's like, no, you don't. Creating a brand new fight. He doesn't have to do this. He doesn't have to do this. Like, I want to just make that perfectly clear. He could take the top. He could have just, like, pushed over this way. He has the stones dead. Looks like he's connecting up as well. And he's got ways to further reduce here. He does not have to do this. But, I mean, if you can, you can. You know what I mean? Trying to get her done. Nice, simple connection. Trying to lightly surround the middle, which black just says no to. Not for an instant letting himself be distracted. This move here is normally how you try and uh, kill something. You convince the other person to defend themselves and defend themselves, and then you just go back and attack the sun. Now you've shrunk, you make yourself stronger. Black knows that like the back of his hand and just said no. Cut through. Bye bye stone. Trying to get something done. Not happening. Make sure there's no pushing and cutting there. Making sure there's no liberty shortage there. Connecting out. Swallowing the stones. Push, push, push. Block, block, block. And push, push, push. Now note the middle group survives in one move to make an eye. Which is why this is pretty safe to do. So in white Atari, it's okay. Because he knows exactly how he's alive. Extend, which is also how what comes up with this. If he can defend this stone with this attachment, he can go back and play here and kill. Which is also why black goes this way instead. Here's the attempt, as you can see. Black says no to the attempt. Now that he, since he has an eye, a simple cut here means one eye versus no eye, so these stones are dead. A little bit of a reduction, maybe. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. All right, all right, all right. And Atari. And Descend. And I need more stones. Legend 88 is having a murder Monday. Is that the basics day? I mean, can you really complain if he's killing all the fools? Um, let's see. White. Trying to unsettle black. Comes on up. Again, trying to get some... Some stuff done against the middle group. So we just connect the stones all up. Make sure none of that can happen. Nicely done, nicely done. 
playing it nice and simple. White goes back and plays here. Trying to get something done there. Just connects on out. You can see the flailing. Goes after one stone. Black doesn't care because, again, the middle. Remember the middle? The thing that needs two eyes still? Trying to come on out again means we get to swallow the one stone. Again, with some crazy cuts. Nice shape, making sure none of these cutting points are going to matter. Well, Atari's out. Try and take the top. Hard to really do, though, because there are way too many cutting points, such as this one. At this point, White is just, like, throwing spaghetti at the wall, and he's just trying to see what sticks to it. It's like, is something going to work here? I don't know, man. Not a real ladder, because there's a stone in Atari. So we can play to here. And then we go back and take. White Atari. Another take. Goes back inside so it enlarges the yield corner. On the bright side, this group has connected, which is which is good, which is good. Defense. And lastly, defense. All nice and connected. White finally takes Sente to kill off the one stone, which means black kills off the three. White takes Sente to save because he can go for the two, which is pretty good. So black saves there too. Unfortunately, since he connected, has to go back and play that, which means he was not able to play here, so that was unfortunate. And then we've got little monkey jumps for further reduction, because apparently we're going to counting. End game. Everyone's favorite time of game, right? Wow, I need more stones again. White had some decent ish uh flailing. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of chances there to make mistakes. He was really getting his eye on where all the Aji was. But uh Sir Professional Face was just not having it. Oh my god, hold on. That is just rude. I was listening to a playlist that had a 10-hour track mixed into the middle of it. It's like, why? I don't understand A17. Why doesn't B17 work? A17? A17? A17, A17, A17. Oh, well, if you Atari, if you, uh, that's actually a good question. If you play here now as black, you're going to play here, right? So then we're going to take. Ah. 
And then play here. And then what? Yeah. So we can't really do that. Uh, so instead of zish and zish and zish and zish, we play here and black plays here. And white Atari. And the happy yield connection. And do a connection of his own. Just like so. Now, let's take a moment here on this rather cluttered board, which I have not been keeping straight. Uh, apologies for that. And see how many of y'all know where the next largest endgame point is. Can you find a nice large endgame point? What do you think? F11. Uh, no, F, wait, F1? No. Whose move? Um, it would be a blick. It would be a blick's move. Hmm, hmm, hmm. No, the monkey jump. Do, 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 do. Monkey jump at A7. Monkey jump at A7. Oh, over there. I got you, got you, got you. Dun, 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 dun. E1. A lot of people saying E1. A lot of people saying E1. Y'all are so close. How do you like about that move? How do you like that one? F1 looks nice too. F1 looks nice, but is it nice or is it a scam? Now you might be saying, why would you play here when that clearly doesn't work? Right? Like, look at that right there. It obviously doesn't work. These stones can't be captured. This stone is, but... You counter Atari. White takes. Black gets to Atari again. And suddenly his stone is saved. That's awkward. And then from there, you can push again. And from there, white can hane. And from there, you can hane back. And from there, you might be like, well, that's a problem now. Because if I play away, he's going to throw in and then Atari me. And then if I connect, it's all getting taken. Which is why you also play here. That way, your opponent has to play here. And then you have Sente to play away. Because now if they throw in and try to Atari, they Atari themselves. So they have to take the one stone before you have to respond. So that is a huge difference. L1 and the cut are enormous. The difference between L1 and that cut, oh, that's huge. Like If we go back to that, Um, you go the uh, this one. At worst, you get a connection, right? And then under, and then white gets to save the points here. In the other variation, 
this is all Dame. There's not all of that gets filled later on in the game. Pretty huge difference. Pretty huge difference. Also, after that, he resigned. White White said, "I'm done. I'm out. I'm out." That was the most beautiful endgame sequence I've ever seen. Can't. I can't do it, man. I can't. So, congratulations once again to our professional player. And I apologize to anyone watching this game because this game was a mess. I didn't keep, uh, I went through the middle of it a little bit too quickly. I can see that the stones are kind of like unaligned. Like, this is pretty nice down here. But that was kind of, uh... Nope, no idea. Don't know who he is. Don't rightly care. I can just appreciate the amazing moves, the simple play for what they are. And again, I, I, I do have to reiterate, it's n it was not common to see this kind of thing. Like back in the day, there were no pros. Or, uh, sorry, that's not true. Back in the day, there were no pro ranks on Taijem. That's something that you got later. So there were a lot of pros that had to fight their way up. And they didn't do it in anything that resembled simplicity. They just wanted to do it as fast as they can. Or maybe their basics weren't as solid. Uh, you saw a lot of trick plays against the amateurs. Just to get them to screw up and die. So this was very much a treat. This was very much a treat. If B left dies, like B left dies, if B tries to cut. Uh, everything over here was was solid and alive. There was no liberty shortages. If that's what you're referring to. I'm not I'm not really sure what you guys were talking about. Sorry. 